Author's note, this video is my review of Disney's Robin Hood, based on The Legend of Robin Hood, directed by Wolfgang Reitherman, published by Walt Disney Productions, starring the voices of Brian Bedford, Monica Evans, Phil Harris, Roger Miller, Annie Devine, Carol Shelley, Pat Buttram, Terry Thomas, and Peter Ustinov as Prince John. Rated G. This will be my greatest performance. A story about a delinquent who robs from the rich and gives to the poor? How uncouth! Yeah! This was one of those movies I grew up on as a kid. The Legend of the Noble Outlaw, who robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. I still remembered it when I was young, and I still enjoy it to this day. And no, I'm not going to go into a synopsis because Everyone knows the tale of Robin Hood. But what I like about the character of Robin Hood was of his status as a cunning trickster. We all know why he fights for the poor, but the way he handles it is why he's my favorite of all Robin Hoods. He's smart, shrewd, cunning like the fox he is, and he knows how to play his foes at the end of his strings. And he has an English accent. Another character I liked was that of Prince John, a large-hammed man-child of a mama's boy capable of throwing temper tantrums. He's as self-absorbed of a jerk as he is a coward in lion's skin, taking his anger out on his second-in-command Sir Hiss. And it's always very funny to see him get humiliated at every chance he shows his face. And yes, he calls for mom and sucks his thumb and he doesn't want to play. Yeah, why don't you go suck that thumb, you big baby? But I actually have two favorites of this film. The first one happens to be Friar Tuck, a jolly man of the church who has great faith in Robin Hood, and a great scorn towards the tax-collecting sheriff of Nottingham. Get out of my church! Ow, 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 ow. Ow. And the other is Lady Cluck, the lady-in-waiting for Maid Marian, and beneath her comforting character lies a feisty, tough, comical woman that really enjoys mocking Prince John. Believe me, I think someone had fun with this character. Uh, 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 uh. I, Prince John, challenge you to a duel. I do have some concerns with the film. First off, I kind of wish there was more screen time with both Lady Cluck and Maid Marian, especially in the third act when they're not present till the end of the film. And second, I wish there was more interactions between Robin Hood and the Sheriff of Nottingham. As cruel as the sheriff was, it did feel like a wasted opportunity. And then there's the elephant in the room. As you can tell, there's plenty of scenes that have been recycled, some of which were taken from other Disney films like Snow White, The Aristocats, and The Jungle Book. I barely noticed it when I was a kid, but I could tell that some of those scenes stuck out like a sore thumb. But regardless, I still enjoy Robin Hood to this day. While it may not be as great as other Disney classics, the themes alone make it worth watching with a friend or with your own children. It's still a fun tale that is waiting to be told from this cult classic, and he still speaks with an English accent. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Kevin Costner. Oh, mommy. I've got a dirty thumb. You insolent little brat! You pay for this! Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day.